Hello, Hoosier Outdoor viewers. Another video today. I'm going to see if I can uh, answer some questions here that I see a lot online and help some people out and see, show you guys how to go from one of these old thermostats that about every old pop-up or camper has in it into some, something a little newer, put, um, how to replace this with the digital unit. Like this one here. Just happened to be the one I had laying around, so it's nothing special, but you can pick these up just about anywhere. They're super easy to change out. All you need is some basic hand tools and a drill. It's two wires, so if it just runs your heat, it's only two wires anyway, and most of them do, because the AC units are usually a completely separate unit, especially in pop-ups, so super simple to do, nothing to be intimidated by. If you can strip two wires and hook them back up, you can replace it, so I'm gonna walk you through it right now. As you can see here, with your uh, cabinet flipped down on most of these, you can see the inside, just two simple wires that run in. They run in through this little wooden block here. You're gonna have to drill a new hole in most likely to uh, fit your new thermostat, but uh, pretty simple. You'll uh, disconnect two wires. Your original thermostat will look like this. Your wires should be connected to this terminal and this terminal. There is no polarity on them as far as I know. Someone may correct me, but I don't believe it matters on a two wire system. So you just unscrew those wires from there and you're done with this old thing. All right, simply, these simply pull apart. You'll see two screws on the inside. Take those off, this comes right out. Pull your wires loose from the back. It's gone, it's done. The backing plate for the new thermostat, I simply lined up, pulled the wires through. On this particular case, I'll zoom in here so you can see. I had to drill one new hole through there to fit the wires through. Push those through after you're mounted, and then you should have two wires stripped. You'll need a small screwdriver, and you have an RH and a W. Those are the two connections you want to make, at least on this thermostat. You know, check your user manual for your thermostat. Some of them may be different. I'm no expert here, so not a heating and air guy. I'm just a mechanic, so. RH and W, hook those two wires together. Press your connections for your new thermostat in the back. That's all there is to it. People make a big deal out of this. They panic, they worry. It's a really nice upgrade. You'll get your temperature readout on your thermostat. You'll actually have a digital thermostat. You can even put a programmable in and set different times of day just like you would your house. So it's a simple on off. Um, your uh, furnace is usually a 12 volt appliance in these, um, but the signal from the thermostat's the same as a household unit. So um, no, big, no big electrical power running to them or anything you gotta worry about would disconnect your battery, your power before you uh, start messing with wires as always, but it's really that simple. Once you're set, you can put your face plate back on, flip the heat, which I already have. It usually takes a few seconds and um, you're good to go. Turn your thermostat on, make sure your lines are purged and ready to go and you're ready to run with a new digital thermostat way better than these old ones that tend to fail pretty common and have issues and don't kick on and off when they should and it works really good. You just set the temperature where you want it and you'll stay nice and warm.